How do I do this? Design. I open the Microsoft Publisher and I am going to create a business card. So I'm going to search for business card. Card. And when you hit enter, you can see all the forms for business card. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose, for example, this one. For example, okay, or you can choose this one. Let's say create. <clears throat> now, what is the first instruction say? Say choose what? Template a row. How do I choose the template a row? Let's go to the page design. And then from the page design, go to change template. template. And what does that template name? It's called a row. Okay, template a row. So I'm going to go to the chain template. I'm going to choose the a row. Okay, it looks like exactly the same format. I'm going to say okay. And I'm going to apply it on this template. So it does look like same exactly okay so i'm gonna put them next to each other you can play with the color to see which color is uh similar to that one or close not exactly necessarily to be the exact colors okay let's say this one very close grow yeah so this is the color grow okay you see the name? Grow. Why do I get this name? From the template here. It said color. Grow. So this is why I choose what? When I choose the template, I go to the grow. Looks exactly almost the same. Is it? And font should be what? This font. Okay, font should be this one. So when you go to the change template again, okay, you can, um, we selected the arrow. Okay, we don't want any to add anything. And you can select the color from here. Now the font should be chosen from here. Okay, what's the font name? It's Bondi Empty Black. So when you click on the font, you select, you look for the Bondi empty black, this one here. You choose this font, okay? And you say, okay, now we're gonna apply it in this one. The font changed already. Everything is okay. Now you try enter the next instruction is enter the text as shown. So I'm going to enter the same text exactly. Okay. So I'm going to enter here. Mary. Martha. And here. The job title is regional. It is regional. Manager, same exactly as written. And here I write micro so and here is the mobile number. So I'm gonna change this to uh, mobile and uh, let's just put the same mobile here. For example, and I'm gonna, uh, there's no fax, so I'm gonna remove the fax. And you have the mobile uh, email, which is Mary. And then here, uh, Martha. Okay, that's com. Okay, 
And here I'm going to put um, the address. So I'm going to say same thing here. P O box 191 and uh, postal code. And make sure the same thing exactly. So postal code is 314. And then you can here put the uh, other address, uh, which is more like that. And then down here, more. Oh, control Z, not exactly. Okay. No. Some. So I wrote this and I wrote this. I can see that the space between them. Okay, what's the next instruction? So I can enter now the. Uh, the star, how do I enter the star? And I'm going to go to insert. And then you have shapes. In the shapes, you look for star. This is the star. So I'm going to draw it right here. OK. And you can you, you can fill the star with a color similar to the one. So this fill color. And you can choose that font, I think. Or oh, this one here, maybe this one. Uh, somehow very close. OK. And then after that, what does the instruction say here? Search for clip art network. For the picture, I need to remove this picture. And I'm going to go insert. Online picture. I'm going to search for network. So, networks not necessarily to be exactly the same picture. Okay. But try to be optimistic and use, like, a, you know, word similar to the concept. So, let's use this one, for example. Okay. This is the picture. I'm going to put it exactly as. It is in there, <clears throat> here. See that? It is on the other color is more. I can extend it like that. And that is the picture like this. OK, guys, you can see it is a little bit to this side. So this is the picture. We put the picture, we put is here. Insert auto shape. And format the design we did. We did insert the star. Okay, guys. Um, here, insert word art south wing. Going to copy the exact word and come here. Okay. And uh, we're going to go to insert and the word art. This is the word art. Okay. And I'm going to choose this, this type. It looks like it. If you come here, looks like it. South wing. So insert word art. And I'm going to choose this one is very close. I'm going to insert the text. Same text. South wing. I'm going to say, OK. Just make it smaller a little bit. Again smaller and move it here underneath the Microsoft. Say so change the font for mobile and UME and email to this font. So I'm gonna go to the mobile and email, shadow them and go to the home. I'm gonna change the font to this font. E S where's E A B C D so this one here, exactly the same font here. Eras, bold, IPC. 
this is Eras Bold ITC. Okay, we're gonna click on that. It does change the font to this one. Okay, now look back again to the picture. You can see there's a space here between mobile and email. So I'm gonna make the space. And then you see the mobile is outside a little bit. And the M is capital. Okay, the email and so on. Okay, and this one is a little bit close to them. Like that. So I designed this one. The last instruction say what? Um, say save the file as BC. So the name of the file is BC. I have to have three version. Now listen carefully to this step. File. I'm going to save as. I'm going to save it in my document. Okay. So I'm going to call it uh, BC. Now, what's the file type? The file type is pub, publisher. This is the first one. I'm going to say save. Okay. Now, again, it says save it as bc.pdf. What I'm going to do is file, save as, and browse, and then change from here. Change from publisher to what? To PDF. Where is PDF? right here okay and then you say what save and then the last file is say what this is the pdf file it looks like this i'm gonna close it i don't need it the last one is as a gpg okay so file save as and browse and go change from here to GPG. When GPG, this one here. Picture. Okay. And choose it. And then say save. Okay. If you go to my document, you go to my document, you'll find three files. One as a GPG file. You can see it right here. Second one is a PDF file. This one here. The last one is a publisher file. You can see them here. Publisher document, PDF document, and GPG. You're gonna.